Welcome to Mindscapes, our series of conversations with men and women whose ideas, vision and philosophy define our contemporary world. My guest today is a Secretary General of uh, a UN organization that perhaps plays a more critical, active role than uh, any other uh, international organization in shaping, molding and defining the ideas and visions that define our world. I'm delighted to welcome mm -hmm. Mr. Kochira Misura, yeah. the Director General of uh, UNESCO. Yeah. I'm welcome. very happy to be here. Yeah. Um, UNESCO has a huge mandate, mm -hmm. education, science, culture, and the communication. vast area <laughs> communications. Um, what is your personal passion? Well, I have a strong passion for all four no, all these no, uh, areas, but I have you know, particular passion for education and culture. You were, you, you're one of the sort of dialogues you're engaging mm -hmm. uh, in here in India mm -hmm. is on the issue of education and, and values. Mm -hmm. um, to what degree uh, mm -hmm. you know, do you really feel that uh, mm -hmm. values can be taught mm -hmm. as, as part of curricula mm -hmm. as uh, mm -hmm. you know, tends to be a frequent presumption that you know, somehow you can teach values by making it a university mm -hmm. course? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, values must be taught. Uh, certainly, uh, they must be taught at universities, but they must be taught even at uh, primary uh, school. Uh, perhaps I should tell you, you know, uh, UNESCO organized World uh, Conference on Basic Education in cooperation with other international organizations uh, like the World Bank and uh, UNICEF. That was uh, back in, in April uh, last year. There, we adopted uh, six objectives to uh, attain before 2015. And these are uh, quantitative and qualitative objectives. Mm -hmm. And one of the qualitative objectives is to provide uh, quality uh, education to children, even at primary school levels. Their values must be taught. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do you begin to define mm -hmm. what these values are? You know, they tend to vary from culture to culture. Mm -hmm. uh, there is disagreement over what mm -hmm. represents mm -hmm. good values. Mm -hmm. So, how does an international organization mm -hmm. like UNESCO mm -hmm. decide, well, these are the values that we will mm -hmm. promote? Well, uh, there are certainly uh, various uh, values, universal values, national values, local values. So, what are some of uh, the values that you feel passionately yeah, about? Uh, but these days, uh, I can claim that you know, the humankind has established more or less unanimously universal values which ought to be accepted by all countries. Uh, for instance, a democracy, you know, human rights. Mm -hmm. you know. uh, these days, you know, uh, the importance of uh, uh, science education, uh, the importance of uh, environmental education. And UNESCO is you know, uh, now you know, arguing uh, what we call cultural peace uh, must be taught uh, as they are not. I do think you know, these are the universal values accepted uh, worldwide. Therefore, these are the values that ought to be uh, taught you know, at uh, schools, even at you know, primary schools. You know, last year was uh, the, you know, the year 2000, mm -hmm. uh, was a UNESCO a year for you know, the culture of peace. That's right, that's right. Um, do you despair that, uh, you know, despite these, you know, UN years that we keep having, mm -hmm. you know, the, the year for the aged and mm -hmm. the year for women and, and what have you, mm -hmm. that you know, when we really look around us, mm -hmm. uh, are there are we significantly making an impact mm -hmm. uh, in these areas of, mm -hmm. uh, of, mm -hmm. of of concern and focus? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I would say, you know, lo looking you know back over the fifty years and after the. Uh, second you know, uh, World War, uh, we have made progress you know, uh, in some regions, mm -hmm. uh, but we have uh, made uh, little progress. 
or even you know with progression mm -hmm. in uh, uh, other uh, areas. Uh, I would like to remind you that you know, uh, my organization, UNESCO, was created r right after the Second you know, World War on the recognition uh, that you know, uh, peace must be taught. Uh, in other words, we you know, say in the preamble of UNESCO, you know, wars were created in the minds of man, mm -hmm. therefore uh, the fortress of uh, peace must be first created in the, man, uh, in the minds of a man. Mm -hmm. And that is a you know, basic philosophy of UNESCO. That is a basic foundation of what mm -hmm. we call uh, culture of uh, peace. Mm -hmm. uh, but I must remind you, know, uh, a lot of people were killed you know, during the Second you know, uh, World War. Fifty million people, fifty million people. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, you know, twenty million people were killed you know, mm -hmm. in those you know, fifty years after the Second World War. Mm -hmm. That means you know, humankind did not uh, learn a lesson from mm -hmm. the disasters of the Second you know, World War, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, uh, at the start of the 21st century, uh, we should go back to the basic you know, uh, philosophy of UNESCO. In other words, you know, wars must be first you know, uh, 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 ostracized or ousted uh, from the minds of men. Uh, uh, therefore, you know, peace must be created in the minds of men. But it will take time, it will take time, and we have to educate uh, young people and children, you know, uh, in order to uh, uh, give them uh, that kind of uh, mind frame mm -hmm. from uh, childhood. You know, the Buddha uh, taught uh, culture of peace yes. and Christ and, and, and sort of yeah. living, you know, the, sort of the masters from many living mm -hmm. traditions. Yes. Uh, in, in, in what ways does UNESCO feel mm -hmm. that it may add value mm -hmm. uh, to these, uh, mm -hmm. these sort of ancient traditional teachings mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and make them relevant and, and mm -hmm. vital mm -hmm. so that Peace taught is also peace practiced. So, what, what uh, techniques? Yeah. What, what, and, uh, what strategies? Yes, you have? Now we are preparing, you know, uh, materials for mm -hmm. textbooks, mm -hmm. uh, primary school textbooks, uh, secondary mm -hmm. school textbooks, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the area of uh, uh, cultural peace, uh, in English and French, and we like to do in, so in other languages. Mm -hmm. uh, these materials should you know, help. You know, mm -hmm. uh, national governments and local governments and uh, education commissions and mm -hmm. schools you know, to uh, think you know, or, uh, hard mm -hmm. how the basic philosophy mm -hmm. of cultural peace uh, would be you know, uh, uh, duly incorporated mm -hmm. in their textbooks mm -hmm. and uh, duly taught you know, or in classes. Mm -hmm. That's what you know, we have been doing uh, mm -hmm. already. So mm -hmm. what I hope for is, you know, uh, national governments, local governments, education commissions, and schools, teachers will pay attention to these materials you know, very seriously. Mm -hmm. Another area of uh, you know your 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 interest and in work at UNESCO mm -hmm. has been that in in, in scientific uh, yeah. education. Mm -hmm. um, why is science per se, mm -hmm. uh, other than you know the fact that mm -hmm. we need science mm -hmm. and technology mm -hmm. and the insights and techniques it offers mm -hmm. to improve our mm -hmm. standards of living, mm -hmm. to cope with increasing populations. Mm -hmm. Why is science education or, or scientific mindset mm -hmm. perhaps mm -hmm. uh, so important uh, mm -hmm. for, 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 for UNESCO? Well, it is you know, crucial uh, to have uh, more you know, uh, young people, uh, more promising young people, get interested in, in science. We can do so only through uh, science uh, education. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, you know, we have to give weight, uh, more weight to science education. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact is, you know, these days, you know, we are losing more and more young uh, people uh, from uh, uh, science. Why yeah. do you think people are, and if they are, mm -hmm. really losing interest in the sciences? I mean, isn't that the way mm -hmm. that they make mm. the most money and make well, a living. Uh, uh, that is exactly is <laughs> the point. In other words, young people are more interested in uh, making men uh, rapidly, mm -hmm. so they are certainly interested in uh, applied sciences, but they are not interested in uh, more fundamental sciences like uh, basic sciences and engineering sciences, which you know, uh, will not you know, lead to making money 
you know, immediately, uh, frankly speaking. But uh, we need a large pool of scientists in these areas uh, in order to have, you know, uh, more uh, applied you know, sciences, you know, uh, in you know, today's you know, society, well, in order to improve our living condition, in order to improve our lives. We could not simply have an applied you know, scientists alone. You know, we have to have first you know, basic scientists and engineering scientists. Uh, that is lacking. Mm -hmm. In the other word, students are more interested in uh, more immediate outcomes, or interested in getting you know, uh, uh, positive results immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not interested in uh, long-term basic you know, science research. Mm -hmm. Looking at the sort of whole area of, uh, of education, yes. uh, that is one of the primary mm -hmm. thrusts mm -hmm. uh, of UNESCO. Mm -hmm. um, you know, very often we, we uh, set ourselves aspirations. Yes. Health for all by the year 2000, mm -hmm. sort of WHO's sort of mm -hmm. big buzz. We didn't get health for all mm -hmm. by the year 2000. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, UNESCO has a mm. sort of universal education, mm. I think it's... 2015. Uh, 15. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, what, what hopes do mm. you have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, concretely, tangibly, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, these will in fact mm -hmm. be fulfilled? Mm -hmm. You know, there are no international treaties or obligations mm -hmm. uh, that make it mandatory mm -hmm. uh, for governments mm -hmm. to spend uh, less mm -hmm. money on, on weapons and mm -hmm. more on education, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. um, what, what processes, other than... Mm -hmm urging or, or, or mm. putting uh, you know, the moral pressure of international consensus. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that these, 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 these can be urged mm -hmm. in practical terms on governments? Well, uh, with regard to education, in particular with regard to basic education, the primary uh, responsibility for achieving uh, interna international targets adopted at the conference I just mentioned uh, lies you know, uh, with uh, national governments or national uh, uh, countries. You know. uh, as I said earlier, uh, the uh, World Conference on Basic Education uh, adopted six uh, objectives. Uh, there are quantitative and qualitative targets, and uh, the quantitative targets are achieving universal primary education by 2015. That means you know, we target uh, at uh, having all children of school going age you know, at primary school by the year 2015. And I understand you know, uh, the Indian government is in the process of uh, working out a national plan to implement that international target. But uh, five years earlier, in other words, the Indian government's target is to have all these children at primary school by uh, 2010. That is a very laudable target, mm -hmm. and uh, I do hope other governments you know, will implement uh, that you know, uh, international target in the national uh, context, working out uh, such an action plan, but in cooperation with uh, UNESCO. We, we are cooperating with the Indian government. We are cooperating with other uh, government in, in that you know, area, but I stress you know, uh, it is definitely you know, uh, up to uh, national governments and uh, possibly to local governments to implement these international uh, targets. But I would like to repeat you know, uh, that you know, target of achieving universal primary education by 2015 it was adopted by the conference UNESCO organized, mm -hmm. but it was endorsed uh, and adopted by the Millennial Assembly uh, attended uh, by heads of states, mm -hmm. organized uh, by the UN itself mm -hmm. in September uh, uh, last year. So it is not uh, merely a UNESCO target, it is an internationally adopted uh, target. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have been um, uh, mm -hmm. active, UNESCO has been active mm -hmm. in the area of uh, communications. Yes. Um, and I think that uh, there is a great deal of concern mm -hmm. that with the globalization of media, mm -hmm. that our notions of culture, another mm -hmm. important area of uh, UNESCO's concern, mm -hmm. uh, in, 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 in some fundamental, substantial mm -hmm. ways, yeah. uh, are going to change. Mm -hmm. And culture as uh, synonymous with, uh, with identities of 
ethnic groups, mm -hmm. yes, nationalities yes. are being impacted by this globalization of culture. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of uh, role does mm -hmm. UNESCO see for itself? What kind of mm -hmm. strategies, recommendations mm -hmm. uh, do you feel mm -hmm. uh, in practical, tangible ways? Mm -hmm. And I sort of emphasize the practical, tangible, because yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of the sort of great successes mm -hmm. of uh, UNESCO certainly been, mm -hmm. has been in the formulation of, of documents, of agendas mm -hmm. uh, that we have seen. Mm -hmm. um, that hasn't always led mm -hmm. uh, to, to action by national governments, mm -hmm. you know, adopting these and implementing. You can make recommendations. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in concrete terms, mm -hmm. uh, what do you feel that uh, yeah. UNESCO can mm -hmm. do, has mm -hmm. done, is mm -hmm. doing? Yeah, perhaps I should mention in general terms uh, that UNESCO's uh, uh, primary role is advocacy, or advocating, you know, uh, basic principles uh, to you know, member uh, states, and also uh, making uh, recommendations on concrete actions to be taken under these you know, uh, basic you know, uh, guidelines you know, to you know, uh, national governments. Uh, uh, again, uh, therefore, UNESCO must have you know, close collaboration and close cooperation with uh, the national uh, government, government. In other words, mm -hmm. UNESCO could not possibly operate you know, mm -hmm. in a vacuum you know, or in an international vacuum without the effective participation of uh, National government. In this context, I would like to stress, you know, uh, I refer to national governments constantly, but uh, these days, you know, uh, we also give priority to establishing collaboration with, you know, uh, civil society, with NGOs, you know, mm -hmm. you know, academic circles, you know, uh, the cultural uh, circles. Uh, as well. We have direct links uh, with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, responding to your uh, question. Uh, I would like to point out you know, one of the priority areas uh, for UNESCO in the coming years is uh, uh, the promotion of uh, cultural diversity and also dialogue among different uh, cultures. These two must go you know, hand in hand. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be adopting basic uh, documents uh, mm -hmm. which will serve as a guideline in the coming years, uh, mm -hmm. which will be called uh, Declaration, or UNESCO Declaration mm -hmm. on Cultural uh, Diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, when the General Conference of uh, uh, UNESCO meets in October, mm -hmm. they will have uh, a new uh, proposal mm -hmm. from its Director General mm -hmm. uh, on the table, mm -hmm. uh, and I do hope you know, uh, they will you know, uh, adopt it. That will set out you know, mm -hmm. uh, basic you know, guiding principles mm -hmm. uh, on uh, cultural uh, diversity. Mm -hmm. Of course, that is not enough. In my judgment, it is uh, merely a starting point mm -hmm. for international and national efforts mm -hmm. to maintain and, if possible, strengthen mm -hmm. cultural diversity in the age of uh, globalization. Uh, you are right. You know, uh, uh, we should not you know, uh, lose you know, mm -hmm. cultural identities uh, of nations or cultural diversity existing you know, within you know, nations mm -hmm. as a result of uh, globalization. And we have to encourage uh, national governments, local governments, and NGOs, uh, for that matter, the whole nation mm -hmm. to maintain such cultural diversity in the age of uh, Globalization, but I would like to add what is important is you know uh, such cultural diversity it should not be just maintained you know uh, on a national dimension. Uh, there ought to be a dialogue and exchanges between you know, different uh, uh, cultures. And after all, you know, looking over uh, long history of humankind, you know, mm -hmm. no civilization uh, was. Uh, 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 fomented or created without uh, effective contact with another civilization. Mm -hmm. And no civilization survived long mm -hmm. uh, without having rich contact with other civilizations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the sort of more uh, visible in the community mm -hmm. uh, activities of uh, UNESCO, mm -hmm. uh, certainly in India in recent years, has been sort mm -hmm. of the declaration of monuments as being world heritage mm -hmm. monuments. Yes. What does this mean, and what significance does this have? Uh, well, uh, I just you know, visited 
kitabı minel one of the sites of cultural heritage on the UNESCO list of world heritage. In fact, you know, when I came here back in 1967, I visited that site. Of course, you know, that was before the establishment of the UNESCO system of world heritage. I would say uh, it was nevertheless, you know, uh, not in a bad state. Mm -hmm. But today I visited the place and I was enormously impressed by new efforts to maintain and uh, preserve and, uh, if uh, no, uh, necessary, restore you know, or, you know, part of the site you know, or uh, damaged over uh, uh, many years. And people uh, are, are very proud of the fact that their site is on the UNESCO list. In this uh, way, UNESCO uh, is encouraging a number of you know, other nations mm -hmm. to make you know, national efforts to preserve their you know, cultural uh, uh, heritage. Mm -hmm. And wherever necessary, we ex uh, extend uh, cooperation. We have expertise. Mm -hmm. We have international expertise. Mm -hmm. uh, in some countries, uh, such expertise you know, uh, is lacking. So we have to help. In India, you already have a lot of expertise, but sometimes we do help. And uh, in this way, you know, we now have uh, uh, 690 uh, sites, including uh, uh, cultural and natural sites, on the UNESCO list of uh, World Heritage. Uh, without that system, uh, I'm very sure uh, humankind would have lost a uh, number of important you know, cultural heritage sites. Mm -hmm. uh, in, 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 in many senses, the work of uh, UNESCO um, significantly transcends national yes. boundaries, yes. as does the work of you know, organizations mm -hmm. such as uh, UNICEF, mm -hmm. you know, children, yes. it's a universal um, mm -hmm. um, uh, imperative, yes. uh, their interests and, and, and what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but much of your work yes. uh, must inevitably mm -hmm. uh, run into, uh, what, how do I put this, sort of political minefields. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you decide uh, you're looking at uh, you know, the very issue of, of, of human mm -hmm. rights, of mm -hmm. values. Mm -hmm. Uh, values differ yes. uh, in, in, in many countries. There are countries mm -hmm. that have mm -hmm. resisted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Mm -hmm. uh, there are um, you know, refugee communities. There mm -hmm. are cultures that are threatened mm -hmm. uh, with extinction mm -hmm. by uh, political elites, mm -hmm. which are not democratic. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm going to save you the embarrassment and not mm -hmm. mention a specific mm -hmm. uh, uh, countries and specific mm. actions, mm -hmm. but uh, how does big, how does UNESCO mm -hmm. begin mm -hmm. uh, to address mm -hmm. uh, these issues? Or are you able to say, as, mm -hmm. as say perhaps UNICEF might say, that you know a child is a child, mm -hmm. no matter where it is, mm -hmm. what the ideology of the country mm -hmm. uh, in which the child is? Mm -hmm. uh, are you able to say that about issues of culture, about mm -hmm. issues of uh, heritage, of mm -hmm. cultural diversity mm -hmm. uh, that you have been referring to? Well, yeah, you are uh, certainly right, saying you know, there are many you know, political uh, mind uh, views. UNESCO does not deal with you know, political issues as, as such. UNESCO deals with, with non-political issues like education, culture, science, and communication. But these issues you know, uh, are very often affected by you know, political uh, uh, issues. You, know. you mentioned one of them. Uh, in my uh, perception, I would say uh, when there is a gap between I uh, international values, which UNESCO uh, pursues, and national values you know, uh, in member states, there is certainly a uh, uh, different you know, uh, approach, even in you know, uh, controversy you know, between UNESCO and you know, national uh, countries uh, concerned. Uh, but yeah, as, as far as the UNESCO is concerned, uh, we have to stick to universal values uh, accepted uh, by the international community. Therefore, no, we will uh, try to you know, uh, persuade the government concerned uh, to uh, understand more fully the implication of uh, national values you know, uh, pursued. Uh, in that context, perhaps uh, I should give you one example. There is you know, the freedom of the press. 
and uh, UNESCO is now at the forefront of uh, defending and also promoting the freedom of press. In India, it's, not, uh, it's well established, no uh, uh, problem whatsoever, but uh, in uh, quite a few developing countries, uh, the freedom of the press is not uh, well uh, established. And uh, UNESCO took initiative in designating May 3rd as International Day for the Freedom of the Press. We started you know, giving a UNESCO Prize to journalists uh, who fought for the freedom of the press. Uh, nevertheless, you know, uh, who uh, suffer uh, in their uh, countries and sometimes uh, who are imprisoned. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, national governments argue they are imprisoned because they have violated national legislation. Mm -hmm. But by UNESCO standards, uh, by the universal you know, or standards, you know, uh, they merely pursued uh, uh, their efforts to report freely mm -hmm. what's taking place uh, in their uh, countries. Uh, really likely, you know, we uh, have given you know, awards to a number of journalists mm -hmm. in the past several years, mm -hmm. and we appeal to these governments to release them. We all succeed. We all you, succeed. You, you still have uh, sort of, uh, you know, approximately say two, two thirds of your or your term left uh, at, yes, at yes. UNESCO. Mm -hmm. um, when you leave it, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. what legacy mm -hmm. uh, do you feel? Mm -hmm. What was sort of the focus point, yeah. the big achievement mm -hmm. uh, that you would like to leave behind? Well, uh, I would not aspire to uh, leave you know, or, uh, my name uh, behind. Uh, what I, know, I, I would hope for is you know, uh, uh, we would have created a new UNESCO more uh, uh, efficiently and more effectively you know, we adapted to the needs of the 21st century. I have ha happened to be the Director General of UNESCO at the start of the 21st century, where you know, we are uh, witnessing a very rapid globalization uh, process, which is creating a number of new problems, or which is uh, leaving behind a number of old problems. Uh, therefore, I have been advocating UNESCO should uh, deal with these problems. That is you know, what I call we have to humanize you know, uh, globalization process, or so we have to achieve a globalization with a human face. If you know, I am to succeed uh, in my tenure uh, of the office, you know, I'll be more than uh, happy. I don't mind, you know, my name will not be remembered. What should be remembered, UNESCO, uh, we have been uh, reborn. It's the humanization.